St. Pope Sixtus and his friends were martyred for the faith in the third century. Sixtus was elected Pope in 257, 12 months later on the 6th of August, as he was celebrating Mass in the catacomb of St. Calixtus. He was seized by the authorities and beheaded along with four of his deacons. He was buried in the same catacomb. St. Lawrence, another deacon, was captured and executed four days later. We know most of the details of this martyrdom from a letter of St. Cyprian, who himself was martyred later in the same year. There are some lovely images in the readings, but especially in the psalm. The psalm, the responsorial psalm is, It is the Lord who deals death and life. We are blessed to be given life by the gift and grace of God. And as we journey through life, we do our best to witness to the gospel narrative as believers. And then when our time is over, we are called at a day and an hour we do not know. Only the Lord himself knows. And that's summed up too in the gospel story when Christ reminds his friends, if anyone wants to be a follower of mine, let him renounce himself and take up his cross and follow me. For the one who wants to save his life will lose it. The one who loses his life for my sake will find it. And I love this line. What then will a man gain if he wins the whole world but ruins his very soul?